Hey girls, today we are going to be making warm and cool artworks using these temper cakes. So when you get them off the counter, you want to make sure you get those little squirt bottles and you just kind of squirt them, make them a little bit wet. You need a bowl with a little bit of water and you need a paintbrush. Write your name and your code on the back of these. So on one of them, you're going to be using just warm colors. So I know that red is a warm color, right? And you can make anything that you want. All right, for this video, I'm just going to do some lines. Great thing about the temper cakes is, number one, it's washable. So, all the mamas and daddies like that. And, it dries fairly quickly. All right, now I'm going to use orange because orange is a warm color. Who can tell me another warm color? Yellow. Very good. So you see in between each color, I'm just rinsing my brush, right? If you happen to mix up the colors on here or if one of your table mates does, just go get a paper towel and wipe the top of it off and it'll come right off. So I'm just kind of going over top and I'm kind of blending them together. Now I can kind of mix, do your white a little bit first. I'm gonna add like a little bit of white and the red together. What's white and red make? Pink. Don't really look like pink over here, but that's okay. Keep washing, keep washing. So you got one warm. What's gonna go on that second one? Your cool colors, very good. So I know blue is a cool color. Now I'm doing my lines different. You can do the exact same artwork and just do one with warm and one with cool. If you wanted to do circles. I know sometimes if I don't give you a subject matter, then it's kind of hard for you to figure out what to paint. So you see Miss Swingers is just putting the paint on the paper, right? Sometimes that's what your brain has to do. Sometimes you just gotta get it out. Um, if you have zero idea what to do, Miss Swingers, I'm very confused. I'm very frustrated. Just do circles. I want to tell everybody, just do some circles. Okay, you can tell the more water that's getting on my brush, what's happening to my paint. Is it getting lighter or darker? Lighter. So see how I went back in there with just a straight dry brush? I didn't dip it in the water. I love seeing how those colors mix together. So my goal for the end of this project is for me to be able to tell that you know what colors are warm and what colors are cool. And you have two fantastic artworks that all the spaces filled up to show me. Okay, very good. 